got an issue with people pretending they like what they don't Please don't bring up my issues unless you gon' deal with your own Please don't try to pretend like you keep it real though Yeah, it's funny that you got a lot of money, but that money doesn't buy you skills though I don't care if I am on the billboards, on the killing spree, I'm about to kill more Got a chain on, you pay the mill for it. I mean, what you Yo, what is going on y'all? It's your boy Vail, back with another Mobile Legends video and I haven't been using Marksman a lot, honestly. And this build I wanted to do on Bruno. He's he's like like I was actually shocked using him at first. I thought he was not the best character, and the the range was weird. It seems like is it just me or is his range just ridiculously better than everyone else's? Like I think he has some amazing range because it he he feels great to play with. But I didn't think he was doing too much damage at first. But towards the end of the game, I'm telling you, man, he just went crazy. And I think I actually forgot how viable marksmen are when it comes to the end of the game because I've been playing with a lot of um the, the new character actually. If you didn't see my alpha video, make sure you check that out. I'm gonna leave that alpha video in the description, and I'll also put like an annotation on the screen like at the end of this video. But yeah, my alpha build is amazing. I've been using a bunch of um fighter characters and um close range combat type of characters. So I haven't been using marksmen, so it was kind of weird getting back into using a marksman, but. Bruno is actually pretty decent, man. He, he's a beast. I'm not going to lie. Like, the way he um he has this move where he can actually kick the ball and dash through people and it stuns them. It stuns them so they can't move. And once I got the hang of that, it was actually a really good move. Like, I, uh, the one thing about it is he, um, I don't do a lot of speed. So, I got caught in a few situations that I just couldn't get out of. I couldn't run. I couldn't do nothing. I, I, I'm not used to using marksmen anymore. Like, I can't push up like I used to push up when I was using, um, when I was using my fighter characters and stuff like that. So, I, I have to get back used to playing. But it, I was still the MVP of the gameplay you're going to be watching in the background. It was still a very fun time. I actually like this character, Bruno. I'm going to have a Clint um, video coming soon, a Clint build coming for um, and show you how I use Clint and stuff like that. And then I'm probably going to make like the best um, marksman build, period. So all, all the marksmen together, I'm going to tell you the class that I think would work best on all of them because they're, they all have very similar classes, honestly, if not the same class already. So I guess it will just be one video so people can see like, the primary class setup I use, so basically all all the marksmen that I use. But anyway, let's get right into the video, man. Uh, um, so starting out, I want to say, like any other marksman, of course, we're we're not going for health or anything. We definitely don't want to go for health. Like the only character that we're gonna be going for health on, period, ever is a tank. So I know a lot of people wonder how I play this character without health and stuff, and it's not about health. This character is about building a lot of damage, staying long range. You, you're supposed to stay away from danger. Honestly, you're not supposed to be taking a lot of damage at all. You're too squishy to be taking damage. To be completely honest, if you put like straight health perks on and you just got straight health, you're still going to be weaker than a tank. Like you're still going to be quite squishy if you put on straight health. Like, with, with no attack, no anything else. So, that's why you don't even want to go for health and stuff like that. Do what you're best at. Like, it, it's it's characters that's supposed to take a lot of damage. So, let leave that to those characters. But, going on to the setup now. Um, The first thing that I have on my homie Bruno is Fallen Sword. That gives you 45 physical attack, 30% attack speed, and a 10% lifesteal. You know we always go for the lifesteal. That's my favorite thing to go for on a character like this because it allows me to recover health while still doing my job. So my job is to um basically just deal a lot of damage, get those picks when characters try to run and stuff like that. Like no one should be escaping you. Like when like at the beginning they're gonna start escaping you a little bit because you won't be able to deal enough damage. You won't be able to catch up to them and stuff like that. But towards the end of the game, they step too close. Like three hits. Like literally, you're gonna see me like three hitting people with this guy, man. Two, maybe two. Like, and I was so shocked. Like that that that's the best part about this guy. I didn't know he was so powerful, honestly. Because at the end of the game, I literally came across this one guy. He he dove on me. Like, I think we were, like, equal level. He dove on me. Like, I clicked on I panicked clicked on him. I didn't even mean to do it. I panicked and clicked, and he, half his health was gone. I'm like, damn, I, I, I could have swore I was dead in that situation. But anyway, man, this guy's a beast, I'm telling you. But let's move on to the next one here. The next one I have is Tooth of Greed. This is my baby. This, this is my baby here. I just want to say that Tooth of Greed is my all-time favorite perk of all this is my all-time favorite one I, I love tooth of greed it gives you 75 physical attack and 20 percent life steal so tooth of greed is really my go-to perk because it, it's just 
why not use it it recovers your health it gives you damage like why not you you just you it really just is all around a great thing to have and honestly with, with this you really don't even need health when you have tooth of greed you don't need that much health at all so i even put this on tanks even though you're supposed to be putting health and stuff on tanks i still put stuff like tooth of greed because it gives you a little damage and it allows the tank characters to recover their health faster even though they don't really even need to recover health because it's not like a bunch of people should be taking your health down anyway when you're a tank well obviously that's the goal for them to get the tanks health down but if you play tanks right, like, no one should be losing a lot of health. So it's just all about how you play the characters. But they, they should be able to take a lot of damage. So that's what you focus on when you're going for tanks. But back on Bruno, man. Aside from Tooth of Greed, man, just, just, just no, just trust Tooth of Greed. Like, if, if you can't figure out what to put on your character, man, just, just go for the Tooth of Greed. Just, just believe in the Tooth of Greed, man. You got to eat, live, and sleep. Tooth of Greed. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Let's just move on to the next one, man. So the next one is Scarlet Phantom. Scarlet Phantom gives you 30 physical attack, 40% attack speed, and 10% critical strike. Now, the critical strikes towards the end of the game are going to be ridiculously strong. Like, I was literally two-shotting um, the minions. Like, I, I took out a whole... Like, you're going to see at the end of the game, I took out a whole fleet of... um. A whole fleet of their their minions in like seconds like literally it he got so strong man i'm telling you man so the critical strikes really help with that because you damn near take them out in one hit certain minions the the, the mini minions like the bigger ones it's like three hits the same amount as a um actual character and um yeah man this this guy goes to work man like the 40 percent attack speed like he starts to attack so freaking fast like it, this is the same story with every character like once you get that attack speed going and they get to just attacking super fast it's not really much the other team can do because you attack too fast for them to really do anything at all but um moving on to the next one here we have blade of despair blade of despair gives you 130 physical attack 25 percent attack speed and 10% critical strike chance. Now this is this is this is my baby too. Like I, I almost can't go into battle without this one. Even though this isn't as crucial as some of the other ones, this is just like to solidify your spot and put the nail in their coffin. Like it's the second you get 130 extra physical attack and 25% attack speed with that 10% critical strength chance of striking them. Like it, it's 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 ridiculous. Like you just get insanely powerful once you use this. Like this is a game changer for real because if you like if you look at the other ones you're only getting like 60 here and, and 25 there and stuff like that this gives you 130 physical attack in one shot like this is like three other three four other perks in itself this this is such this is so good this, this is really so good so definitely you got to go with the blade of despair i love this one this is definitely more of my go-to ones this and um tooth of greed both of these you you will see them on a lot of my classes and a lot of my videos if you've watched other videos of mine you're definitely going to see those two a lot um moving on to the next one here we have wind chaser wind chaser gives you that 60 physical attack and that's what i was just saying you get stuff like 60 physical attack and um yeah th this is like what 6 to 18 like i had to do the math real quick but that's like two and a half of this this right here like two and a half of these that's the last one is just one of them so, um, yeah, Wind Chaser is definitely dope. It adds a little bit more physical attack. And this is one that you get a little bit quicker. Well, you actually get this a lot quicker than the last one. So, this comes in handy because you start to deal more damage a lot quicker, a lot sooner. So, yeah, that's the Wind Chaser. And then, last but not least, Thor Sting, man. 30% attack speed, 8% movement speed, and 20% critical strike chance. Now, we always need some attack speed. This is this is really good because if you combine all this attack speed, you combine everything that you're getting here, you have a fast hitting character, a hard hitting character, and a character that's landing a bunch of critical hits. And that's that that's really your role. Your role is to land those critical hits and just take out whoever's there. So what I what I like to do when I play this character, when I play any marksman type of character, is I like to wait till um an enemy dives one of my teammates. They try to come in thinking it's sweet on one of my teammates. Then I'll just come in and just start blasting them with a bunch of damage and a bunch of power, and they can't escape in time. They they never expect someone on, someone to be able to deal the amount of damage that I can deal and the at the speed that I can deal it. Because the, because of the classes that I use, like I know you all have pointed it out before, and so a, a lot of you have actually noticed this, but I do go for a lot of damage and. The reason I don't go for movement speed and health and stuff like that is because I don't take much damage. Like if you look at if you look at my stats at the end of games, I usually have the most 
money the most money and stuff i usually have the most damage dealt i definitely do the most damage i always do the most damage like it doesn't it doesn't even matter if someone has more kills than me like literally someone had double my kills in one of these games i, I can't remember if it was clint i've played clint and i've also played um bruno so i can't remember which one but i i literally someone had double my kills and i still had the most damage like i just deal damage to everything even if they escape sometimes like i i this this dude's a damage magnet like well not a damage magnet but he just he just throws it out so definitely give this class setup a try man it, it, it's um it's definitely a lot of fun to use he's a great character to use i think all the marksmen are, are really good obviously i think some are better than others and i'll probably make a video on that my top my top marksman that i like to use but that's pretty much it man i don't want to keep you all too too long here it, it's really um I've really said basically all that I can say about this guy. Bruno is amazing. I really love Bruno. He has range that's ridiculous. And his ability, like, oh, oh one more thing that I want to warn you all about. If you haven't used him before, if you don't know how to get the most out of, his, out of his ultimate, make sure you, it's a group of people when you use that ultimate. Otherwise, it's just really a waste. Like, if it's just one person there, it's nobody to bounce off of. So, it's just going to stop. So, <laughs> Make sure you only use his ultimate when there's a group of people around because I had to learn that the hard way. I was half the game, I'm just sitting there just kicking a ball and like, well, yo, where, where the, where the, where's the rest of it? Like, when people use that against me, I get fucked up. But when I use it, it's just, yeah, it's bullshit. But anyway, man, that, that's pretty much it, man. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the build. Let me know in the comment section if you use it and try it out and what you think of it. Leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace out.